Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2. We are visiting with Dr. Paris Kidd. Welcome, Dr. Kidd. Thank you, Raina. He is the author of a very exciting book, especially for us aging baby boomers. It's called P.S. Nature's Brain Booster. Let's talk about our aging population, Dr. Kidd, and P.S., and how can that help people who are having the, the memory decline, the dysfunction in, in memory? Well, it's really scary, isn't it, Raina? It is very scary. I mean, pretty Kidd. much everybody we talk with will say, oh, I'm not the brain mm -hmm. I used to be, and I can't remember this, and I keep forgetting that, and so on. There is a, a certain rate of what we could call normal decline, but that decline is actually a lot less than people may think. Uh, oh, really? There are people who are in their 90s and who function very, very well. Uh, so I don't know how much of this we can really call normal. The statistics indicate... Yes, I was asking, wondering that, about the studies, yeah. Yeah, this, the, the studies indicate that by the age of 60, fully half of all of us are having pretty major problems that increase our risk for dementia. Okay. Is it possible, and this is really germane to our, our age, is it possible to roll back the clock, especially with something like PS? Well, I'm really hoping so, really. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, we have a lot of double-blind trials on phosphatidylserine, PS. It's not a panacea, but the okay. trials do indicate, and many of these are very well designed and controlled double-blind trials, these trials do indicate that PS can slow that decline that begins to be noticed around the mid-40s or 50s. And uh, in particular, there's one trial by Dr. Thomas Crook, who's a world authority on oh. cognitive decline, and Dr. Crook's team found using very, very precise measures mm -hmm. that some people who have this abnormal decline, some people over 50 who have this abnormal decline, can actually gain between 8 and 12 years really? of function. They can gain back function in things like recognizing names, recognizing faces, uh, remembering telephone numbers, and in word recall. On those types of measures, which Dr. Crook's group has really refined, mm -hmm. uh, they found that a subgroup of people, the people who were worst off, okay. were able to regain quite a bit of function. Okay, is memory decline a biological dysfunction? Uh, actually, that's a very good question, Rena. It is not a biological dysfunction okay. in the sense that there is no program for mental decline. There are no genes that program mental decline. There is no clock that's ticking. What's really happening, it seems, to the extent that mm -hmm. we scientists can understand this, is that as we go through life, we develop cumulative damage mm. and cumulative after effects of the type of lifestyle that we lead, the type of diet that we have, having exercise or not having exercise physically and mentally, both physical and mental exercise. And these sort of have an impact on our brain organization. And so as the decades go by, uh, we're either holding steady, if mm -hmm. we've been taking really good care of ourselves, or we're losing at a pretty rapid rate. So you're saying there are environmental factors, it's not just age related. There are many, many environmental factors, both lifestyle factors and factors from outside the body, mm -hmm. uh, such as the very obvious problems with uh, organic pollutants, heavy metal pollutants, you know, uh, mercury, persistent organic pollutants, those types of things, which are widespread uh, in industrialized countries. Those okay. things can really take a toll on the brain. All right, but it is possible to roll back the clock. It is possible to roll back the clock, and uh, we need to take PS. Mm -hmm. There are other nutrients that we can take, such as the, the B vitamins, which are sometimes taken for granted right. but do make a huge difference, the essential minerals, right. uh, other brain nutrients that help to rebuild, such as glycerophosphocholine or GPC, mm -hmm. acetylcarnitine, the omega-3s. Okay. And... Uh, I'm actually working on putting together combinations of nutrients so that we can get an optimal total health type of rebuilding of the brain. Well, that's excellent, Dr. Kidd. Thank you for visiting with us. Thank you very much, Raymond.